store your files in the cloud safely, next cloud. Google Photos replacement, next cloud. Password manager, next cloud. Doc collaboration, next cloud. Communicating, next cloud. We could keep going. The point is Nextcloud is an immensely powerful tool that is not only open source, but self-hostable. Self-hosting is when you are hosting the software and any files, so when you're accessing things, you're accessing a computer or server managed by you or a trusted party. This gives you complete ownership of your data and it's something everyone should aim to do. So why don't people do it? Because it's not really that simple. Not only are there countless options, but you also have to know how to do them, which is a large point of friction for most people looking to self-host. That's the major con. It's tricky to set up and requires ongoing maintenance by you. The pros are complete ownership of data and possibly some cost savings, depending on the configuration you choose and your individual situation. Now, honesty time. I have very limited experience with self-hosting things, including Nextcloud. So I wanted to take advantage of my lack of experience in this realm to produce what I consider an approachable series on understanding Nextcloud from the ground up. How it works, your options for self-hosting it, and how to proceed on each of those paths. The goal is to empower those watching to feel confident in using Nextcloud as part of their workflow. Now I have good and bad news for you. The good news is this is happening, and by the end of the series, you'll know exactly how to use Nextcloud. The bad news, it will take some time. I'm going to be releasing a single video at a time. The end product will be phenomenal, but it will take some time to get there. We may only have time to produce one or two videos a month max, so please be patient. Some of you may enjoy the slower pacing, but I know many of you won't. And I wanna mention you don't have to self-host Nextcloud. You can trust others to host it for you, and they have a list of providers on their website. But honestly, like one of the largest selling points of Nextcloud is self-hosting it, so you really should aim to go that route if possible. By the end of the series, you'll be able to host Nextcloud on a Raspberry Pi, a VM, a VPS, and more. And we'll use that to set up end-to-end -end encrypted cloud storage, notes, photos, contacts, calendar, really everything that we can. I wanna dive into almost every feature and use case for Nextcloud to allow you to thrive in this big tech centralized world. If all goes well, we at TechLore may even migrate our own workflow to Nextcloud. No need to drag out the introduction anymore. That's it. Stay subscribed if you want to be a part of the journey. I'm going to make this a playlist on YouTube, a link below, so you can easily follow the episodes. If you're excited, leave a comment below. I want to hear. I'm really looking forward to this, and I hope you all are too. See you in the future for the first episode. Um, yeah, on TechLore. Thanks for watching. Stay subscribed. Thank you all. See you next time.